Governor Jerry Brown weighing in on Hillary Clinton's dwindling poll numbers and that ongoing email scandal. This all original 1934 Ford pickup is one of the hottest items up for bid. Right now online, it's got a bid of 10,750 bucks. They were ready to fight to the death. That is the message from three Americans hailed as heroes for stopping a potential terrorist attack on a French train. Tonight on L.A.'s Most Wanted, the riddle of a missing young man who vanished almost 10 years ago in Duarte. Court resumed this morning for a very short time indeed, and a prosecutor Juan Martinez got right in there. He basically said that he needed more time to review some evidence that he was presented with just this morning. How can you tell whether someone is lying or telling the truth online. You guessed it, there's an app for that. With a top ticket price of 10 grand per plate, it's a pricey affair, but organizers expect to raise some $3 million from this event. Loretta Sanchez had just announced her run for the U.S. Senate on Thursday, and now just three days later, the Democratic candidate is apologizing for what some are calling a racist gesture she made against Native Americans. Good morning to you, Tamron. You know where Lindsay Lohan goes, trouble seems to follow. Just as the actress is on the verge of a professional comeback, drama seems to be the driving force behind her personal life. After 25 years together, four children and many ups and downs, many people wondered what finally drove this couple apart. Well, we now know that the former governor of California has acknowledged that he has a child out of wedlock. Students are rehearsing for their June production of The Lion King. Mates is the first elementary school on the West Coast to perform the Broadway musical. I have a little surprise for you. I want to introduce you to my good friend Blake Shelton. Happy birthday to you and congratulations. Oh my goodness. I'm giving him a hug. All right, here you go. <laughs>